Welcome to the Banega Swasth India podcast. Our focus is on creating a holistic and healthy India for each and every one. Our goal is Lakshya Sampurna Swasthika, where citizens, individuals, society and governments work together to ensure health for all. In India, according to the National Family Health Survey, NFHS5 conducted during 2019-2021, the percentage of children under age 6 months who are exclusively breastfed has increased from 54.9% in 2015-2016 to 63.7% now. Breastfeeding children aged 6 to 23 months receiving an adequate diet has also seen an uptick from 8.7% to 11.1%. But this is not enough. This World Breastfeeding Week, we speak with Dr. Tushar Parekh, senior consultant, neonatologist and pediatrician at Motherhood Hospital in Pune to understand all about breastfeeding and the need to promote it. Thank you Dr. Parekh for joining us today. To begin with, tell us what are the benefits of breastfeeding for babies, be it reducing infant mortality or preventing lifestyle diseases. breastfeeding we know uh, has got immense benefits uh, not only for the baby but for the mother i'll talk about baby's benefits uh, so it's basically a complete nutrition uh, for the baby uh, food and water so a baby who is on breastfeeding does not even need to take water for 6 months of life and beyond that we continue breastfeeding along with age appropriate complementary food items uh so first one is nutrition uh and water second thing is that babies uh, uh, who are breastfed uh, they have a uh, better intelligence their intelligence is better than the babies who are on alternative feeding because they have brain growth promoting factors uh 90% of babies brain development happens in the first 2 years number 3 it has got immunoprotective properties a baby who is breastfed does not fall sick as often uh, they have less ear infections less respiratory tract infections less uh, gastrointestinal infections so a baby who is on breastfeed uh, they have less allergies because these babies they are less exposed to foreign proteins early on in their life because a baby who is exposed to cow milk or other foreign proteins in the first few months they develop allergies very easily and uh, therefore these babies will have less eczema less asthma and allergic disorders uh, plus long term there are a lot of benefits in these babies uh, these babies will have less uh, obesity and uh, problems related to obesity like insulin resistance and uh, diabetes and hypercholesterolemia children who are exclusively breastfed for the first 6 months are indeed benefited dr parik how does breastfeeding impact the health of a mother so during pregnancy mother will put on lot of weight and uh, breastfeeding helps to uh, helps mother to get rid of that extra amount of fat and weight the mother has gained during pregnancy immediate breastfeeding after baby is born helps mother for uh, stopping and reducing blood loss helps for the uterine involution uh, and helps for the less blood loss uh, during that time uh, number 3 it has been shown that a baby who is breastfed uh, a bed uh, the mothers will have less chance of uh, some of the malignancies such as breast cancer ovarian cancer and even these babies will have less chances of um, uh, diabetes uh, later on uh, insulin resistance and diabetes later on plus mother infant bonding is better uh, and uh, that will help uh, in a long way for the mother and baby both banega swasth india podcast will be back after a short break watch out for our new banega swasth india video podcast swasthya mantra the first ever public health and hygiene podcast the podcast is live on spotify apple and youtube in english and in hindi Welcome back to Banega Swasth India podcast. Dr. Parikh, what are some of the misconceptions around breastfeeding? Also if you could list out the do's and don'ts that new mothers should practice while breastfeeding. So first one is about prelactal feeds, you know, like uh, before start of breastfeeding people give honey and other uh, you know uh, every uh, uh, kind of community has a different custom. and again here i want to emphasize that benefit of colostrum the milk which mother produces in the first 3 days is little thicker yellower and this milk has got more immunoprotective properties 
uh, and it helps the baby from preventing infection. So no prelactial feeds, number one. So uh, as soon as the baby is born, within half an hour, the baby should be uh, kind of breastfed. Ideal thing is that uh, baby should be put on the mother's abdomen after delivery, after delayed cord clamping, once the cord is separated, uh, put the baby on the mother's chest and directly baby should start feeding uh, uh, immediately uh, but latest by 30 minutes after birth and no prelactial feeds that is number one number two uh, some of the parents and families feel that you should give uh, water along with you know breastfeeding because the summer month is there and uh, baby will get dehydrated so again the second important point i want to emphasize here there is the uh, breast milk is sufficient for the baby as a food and water in the first six months of life. So a baby who is exclusively breastfed does not even require water. How long to continue breastfeeding? You know, like, I mean, uh, so uh, people always, uh, they will have uh, misconception, you know, like six months are done, my job is over or, you know, baby does not re require any more uh, mother's milk. Uh, yes, after six months, baby requires uh, food other than mother's own milk because uh, uh, some of the nutrients, they will fall short uh, if the baby is on exclusive breastfeeding. Uh, but the breastfeeding at this age between six months to two years will help the baby for uh, protection against a lot of infections which happen around this time and uh, therefore one must continue breastfeeding even between six months to two years and uh, that will be beneficial for the baby as a tonic you keep on continuing giving. then uh, about uh, feeding preterm babies now preterm babies uh, also should be fed exclusive their own mother's milk uh, and even for them, uh, mother's own milk is sufficient. So that is again very important uh, message I want to give. If the baby is in the NICU for some reason, keep on e expressing the milk and that milk we can give to the baby and uh, that milk will be beneficial and that is what is something which is recommended for the baby. Dr. Parik, of course, we've seen an improvement in breastfeeding rates as per NFHS 5. What are some of the reasons that hold back women from breastfeeding? These mothers, they require um, education, the healthcare professionals there in the, uh, you know, uh, the hospital settings, they also require uh, education uh, about uh, proper method of breastfeeding, uh, the, the, the latching uh, and the, the holding and the position of the baby is very important. And therefore, in the last uh, a decade or so, if you see uh, the lactation counselors and lactation consultants, their role has come up in a big way because we have now understood their importance. So I think with these uh, people will be now, uh, there is a sea change that we see in our practice also. Parents, they during antenatal classes and um, uh, at a time of uh, delivery and later on also, they are very motivated and they want to uh, kind of uh, uh, start breastfeeding early and continue breastfeeding and they are more knowledgeable. I think that will help to change uh, the percentage of uh, exclusive breastfeeding in a favorable way in a long, long way. Exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months and then complementary feeding along with breastfeeding up to two years is the way to go. Thank you so much, Dr. Parikh, for an insightful conversation. Well, that's it on the Banega Swast India podcast this week. If you have comments, queries or suggestions on the topic we discussed today or issues you would like us to cover in future, do write to us on BSI podcast at the rate ndtv.com. Remember, BSI stands for Banega Swast India. You can also connect with us on Banega Swast India handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and continue the conversation through the week. Till next week, this is Ambika Singh Kama signing off. Stay healthy and stay safe.